Isn't that a beautiful book? I love thinking about skin colors as different types of objects or different things like skin the color of cinnamon or I am the color of caramel. I love all those descriptions. So I thought it would be really fun to think about ourselves and what we are the color of. One of the really beautiful things about being in, um, in community with a group of people is that we're all unique and we're all different. And one of the ways that we're all different is that the color of our skin is different. You might not have the same color of skin as your mom or dad or brothers or sisters. You, or you might. You might have the same exact color of skin as they do. You might not have the same color of skin as other kids in our class, or maybe you do. We all have unique skin colors, and it's fun to think about what our skin color is similar to. And it just makes a, for a beautiful rainbow of children, right? Um, so we're going to do a project where we get to think about ourselves and what we're the color of. So I made an example to show you. This up at the top says the colors of us, just like the name of the book we read. Then there's some words here and it says, my name is, and you write your name on this line. So I wrote Becky, my name is Becky. And then it says, I am the color of. Now this is where you have to do some thinking. And I really had to think about what I think I'm the color of. So I was thinking and thinking and I thought, I'm the color of seashells. There's a seashell um, in a little box that I have on my wall. When I was walking by, I saw the seashell and I thought, I'm the color of seashells. So here I am. My name is Becky. I am the color of seashells. And I drew a seashell and I colored it in, in a color that I thought matched my skin. What do you think? You think that matches my? Pretty close. It's hard to be exact with crayons, but I got pretty close. Now let me show you what I did. I went through my box of crayons and I picked out the ones that I was like, these are pretty similar to my skin. Let me give them a try. So I picked those out and I used this scrap paper, just any old paper, and I tested them and I thought, no, I thought too dark, too light, too reddish. So then I thought, okay, I'm not really finding the color. Maybe I need to blend them. So what I decided to do was take this one that's too dark and color it a real light shade of it. So just with the side of the tip, just don't press hard, just press lightly. And then I took this other color here and I just colored lightly on top of it. And the mix of those colors together gave me a color that looks like this, which I thought was similar to my skin color, the color of seashells. The one thing you should keep in mind as you're testing out crayons is that the crayon might look one color when you press hard. So when you color in, in darkly, it'll look one way. And when you color lightly with that crayon, it'll look a different shade. So let me show you an example. I'm gonna color real dark with this crayon. And then I'll color lightly and you can see the difference. There, can you? See that difference? This is when I colored dark, and this is, let me make a bigger spot where I colored lightly so that you can see it. So there's dark and light with the same color, but they look different because of either pressing hard or pressing lightly. So think about varying how hard you press with your crayon when you're trying to find a color that matches your skin. Okay, so first is your first job is to think of an object that your skin is the color of, okay? What do you think is similar to your skin tone? Could it be a type of food? Could be maybe some kind of bread or some kind of fruit or maybe a granola bar or oatmeal? There's so many things like in the book, cinnamon or maybe the color of curry, like a curryish color. Uh, is it an object, like something in nature? Like think of parts of trees or things you might see in the beach or different kinds of rocks. 
something. So think of something. Or look around your house. It could be anything in your house. Okay? My name is. So then the next thing to do is to fill this in. My name is. And write your name here. The next thing. I am the color of. You're going to write down that object. Okay? Either you can write it or you can have a family member help you. Maybe they write the word and you can copy it on these lines. Or you can sound it out if you want. I am the color of. Write the object here. And then you'll go up to this area up here where there's a box and you're going to draw a picture. See, do you notice my picture took up almost the whole box? See if you can get your picture big. So it takes up almost the whole box. Okay. And then here comes the tricky part is coloring that picture in with a color that matches your skin. Okay. So you're going to have to work with your crayons. Maybe do a little mixing with a couple different colors. So shade, 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 shade. And then color in your object once you've found the perfect combination of colors. I really can't wait to see these. And I, once I get the paper versions of these back from you, I would like to put them together into a class book that I can share with everybody. Okay, so really take your time with this and do some neat drawing and neat coloring. If you want to, or you want to have a family member, you can outline your picture with black Sharpie. That's what I did to make it stand out a little bit. So you could do that. But please always check with your family before you use the Sharpie. And yeah, so really take your time with this one. And um, we'll get to put them together into a class book that we can share together. Okay, have fun.